Hi there, we're glad you could join us. And before we begin our first feature, I'd like to show you something, something that you'll have to see to believe. Because you asked for it, this was the beginning of one of the most dangerous stunts ever attempted on our show. Bulldogging from the air, plane to horse. Now you'll see what happened later on in the show, but right now, let's get to this first request from Robert C. Yothers of La Mirada, California for torture at high speed. And that takes us to Sarasota, Florida. Now, through this letter, Robert sent us to this proving ground where outboard motors are subjected to the most rigid and violent tests before being put on the market. Well, the equipment may get some rough jolts, but so does Joe Anderson, chief test driver for the Tkaper Corporation, manufacturers of the Mercury outboard motor. This is Joe's life. Every test talked out, carefully planned. Now, lots of folks wear special clothing for their jobs, but how'd you like a costume like this every day, a life jacket? Joe never goes to work without it. A crash helmet, too. Now, you'll see why when that boat goes out on the water. It's serious business for a seagoing pooch, too, like Freckles. At these proving grounds, motors undergo constant tests to assure customers of their durability when exposed to the worst possible hazards and to constantly improve the product. Okay, all aboard, Freckles. You asked for it. That's it, down below. That's up from the seat now, come on. There you go. One more. <laughs> That's a boy. Well, today, Joe is testing out a brand new 45 horsepower motor. Let's see how it performs. Michael stays low in the boat, smart dog. Joe's workday is spent at speeds that hit over 40 miles an hour over almost impossible obstacles. A careful record is kept on film along with complete notes of each individual test, tests that are sometimes run 100 times in a row. Grueling punishment all for the sake of the American sportsman. Now the first test is the log obstacle, an underwater hazard any boatman knows only too well. the camera and over the log. First test was good, but he'll make another run. The motor must take the shock again and again. And this time, notice how the engine swings up on a special clamp bracket, complete with shock absorbers. Works just like a giant hinge. A signal from the guard boat, and Joe's next job is to tackle a six-foot-high ramp. Even the cameraman has it rough for this test, perched high above a speeding boat. Well, time out. What comes next shouldn't happen even to a dog, so Freckles has to watch the rest from shore. for the impact test over the ramp. Under great shock, will the motor tear loose from the boat? Will the remote control system hold up? Now watch it. But still, Joe's work's only begun. Over the sandbar now. Day in and day out, these tests go on, hundreds of times over. It's hard on boat and engine alike. It's hard on the man, too, but after 13 years of risking his neck, Joe Anderson's getting used to it. Hard right for a spin out. A sure way to invite capsizing, but you take the risk to find out if your motor is going to drown out under a shower of salt water. like hitting the brakes of a car at 50 miles an hour on a wet highway. And how's that for a high leap? A surefire way to check the durability of the propeller shaft. Through trees at top speed. But it'll never get rougher than this, and that's just what they want here at the Proving Ground.
Yes, just another day in the life of a man who's made a dangerous career of outboard motorboating, an occupation dedicated to the safety and enjoyment for millions of Americans. Now Joe Anderson does a spin out just for us to say, you asked for it. <laughs>